For this activity, you will need lima beans, a container with a lid, and some water. It's also a good idea to have some paper towels handy in case you spill. The very first step will be to put a few beans in your container and cover it with water. You probably need three or four beans per person doing this activity. Put the lid on to protect your seeds and you're going to leave that to sit overnight. I let my bean seeds soak overnight and now it's time to dissect them. In addition to your seeds that you've soaked, you might want to have some of the ones that are still dry if you want to do a comparison. You're going to want paper towels since it's wet and a dark colored piece of paper can help you see the white seeds. So get your hands on one of your seeds, pull it out of your container or your jar and take a look. If we look at the soaked seed next to one of the ones that is still dry, what do you notice? So I can see that my seed that's been in the jar overnight is a lot bigger than what I started with. I think it's absorbed the water. It's also kind of wrinkled on the outside. So the first step in dissecting the seed is to take off that outer layer. That layer is called the seed coat. It protects the seed kind of like a coat you wear when you go outside. And you can put it on your paper to see it a little better. It's a little bit transparent now, or clear. So here's the rest of the seed. You can actually see a tiny bit of a plant is coming up and your seed should split into two pieces pretty easily. So you can see right there is the tiny baby plant. That's called the embryo. When we plant this seed in the ground, that's what's gonna get started growing. Pretty cool. These two big white sides, that's food for that growing plant. It's called the cotyledon. The cotyledon provides food to get the plant started growing until the plant is able to make its own food. It's pretty cool to see what's inside a seed and to know how they get started growing.